Thanks for joining us for another edition of Weekend Winners. We're back at Albion Park on Saturday night. Nine race program. We start at 5.39. All in all, it's a good program. One of the highlight races, race nine the last. That is a very strong two-year-old race, many of which are backing up from last week's triad final. Path to Greatness is the newcomer to this field as well. He's unbeaten two for two and looking forward to seeing what he can do under the bright lights here at Albion Park on the weekend. So there's a lot to look forward to. Weekend winners proudly brought to you by One Equine for the Equine Athlete. In this edition, we're going to speak with drivers Chloe Butler and Mitch Turnbull. Chloe Butler jumps in the hot seat to go through her book of drives on Saturday night, and she's with us now. Chloe, appreciate the time. Thanks for having me, Chris. We start in race one on Saturday night, and this is your favourite, Danger Zone. He's second up but unfortunately comes up with a shocking draw, gate number seven. Were you a little disappointed when you saw the draw? Yeah, we were. We've never really had luck with draws with him, yeah. ever. Yeah, I think that's fair as well. Uh, the first up run, though, would have filled you with confidence. He was excellent chasing home Obi Legal. Did he do everything that you were hoping for? Yeah, he definitely exceeded expectations there. We didn't really expect that, especially with the sloppy track and the way it was. Um, yeah, he was done us proud. All right. That was off a, uh, a pretty easy trial, uh, so he's obviously taking good uh, steps forward. Has he trained on since that first up run? Yeah, everything's super with him. We couldn't be happy with him at home, so if we got a better draw, I'd be a bit more confident. Okay, so as it stands at this point in time, likely to go back? You don't want to get involved early? Yeah, I think we'll just do something similar to uh, last week, hopefully, and hopefully it plans out the same. Yeah. Is there one horse in this race that you can pinpoint, or you think they're fairly even? I think it's pretty even, but um, I think Chantel's one will be the one to beat if it gets everything its way. Yeah, Ultimate Magician, his run was good last time out. So we've just got to wait for a barrier draw, and as soon as he lands a gate, that's when we can uh, hop on. Yes, I think so. All right, well, that's Danger Zone in race number one. Let's go across to race number three. This is the Open, and Targaryen's your drive. This guy's going super. Uh, are you really happy with the way he is right now? Yeah, we couldn't be happier, especially over the carnival. He done everything way over than what we expected you know we didn't expect him to go as good as he did especially up against the grade he was in so yeah we couldn't be happier tell me this then uh for sheer speed over 200 meters and you've got some good quality in the stable would he be one of the fastest horses in the stable right now targaryen most definitely him and deus ex are definitely the two fastest ones we've got at the moment yeah some of his sectionals closing sectionals in recent starts have been just mind-boggling so it, it, it's crazy to think uh, you know he's coming up a little short and not winning some of these races because he probably can't do any more sectionally yeah exactly right i, I can all, i always can't wait to get home and look at his sectionals he runs each week because they're always over the top yeah, and they're so consistent. Week in, week out, he's running those sort of same sort of numbers. So what do we do here on Saturday night? So he's got black sedans immediately to your outside. So how does this race uh, play out for you? How do you want it to set up? Yeah, look, I think hopefully they'll generate a lot of speed, which I think they will be, and that'll suit us down to the ground and finish strong. Do you think black sedans will find the front in this race at some point? I think so at some stage. I think Pete will just bully his way to the top and, yeah. I think hopefully they go pretty hard and fast. So that should suit you then, because you know with Black Sedans, he's got to keep rolling. So he'll go at a good tempo. So that probably helps you a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Especially him. He's got a good 200 metres in him. So if we save ourselves to the last, then we'll finish fast down the outside, hopefully. All right. So he's a genuine top three chance here. Most definitely, especially the way he's been going lately. OK, well, that's a good push there for Targaryen race three. I'm, I'm curious to see what you say about this next horse. Race four, this is the stand start trot on Saturday night. Good quality field as well. Love Gun, he's, he's teasing, I think, at the moment. He's had the two runs, both of which have been really good. Do you think he's got the hoof right on the till? Most definitely. Um, his first two have been super happy. We've just sort of babied him a little bit, and if we got luck, we did. If we didn't, then we'll wait till next week. Um, We've got a lot of time for him. Um, we're still working him out a little bit, but I think, yeah, he's definitely going to be one of the better ones in our stable. OK. His overall record's really impressive, and like I said, both runs to date have been really encouraging. So why is it that you're sort of just babying him at the moment? Uh, he come to us and he was a bit crook early on, so we just sort of looked after him and, yeah, we just wanted to get him right and wait till he gets a good draw and he's free for all races and yeah I think we're finally off a closer handicap and hopefully we can get nice and handy. Okay so you were thrilled with that last start fourth? Yeah definitely it was super he just had no luck at all. 
Okay, he's off the 10 metres, drawn the inside of that 10 metre line there on Saturday night, but he follows our global flight, proven Group 1 winner. Should end up in a fairly good spot here with normal luck. Yeah, I think so. He steps really well and he's really clean gated. Um, his first up start, that was a drive error, but ever since then he's been really good. So I think, yeah, he'll, if he steps as good as he did the first start, then we have no issues. So could this be his race? Is this winnable for him on the weekend? I thought so. I definitely thought it was his race. OK, but we keep following him regardless. I think so. He'll be one of our better trotters we have in the stable besides Adele, obviously. But, yeah, he'll be up there. Yeah, just on Adele, how do you think she's going to go here? Yeah, hopefully she's good. Hopefully Nathan cheers her on from home and sends us some good luck. Um, yeah, but she should be right. All right. Let's go across to race eight. Hey, this race for the mares here, the band five. And you're driving better romance. Gee, she looks hard to beat here. Another one that's holding her form really well. We know she's got gauge speed. So is this a perfect race for her? Yeah, I think so. The smaller field and everything. She's absolutely flying at the moment. Um, yeah, we couldn't be happy with her. Would you want to hold in this race? I think so, being the smaller field and... Yeah, I don't think she'll cop too much pressure. Well, I hope she won't anyways. Yeah. She's been really consistent. Like, when mares are in form, they can generally hold it. And she's been awesome because a lot of times she just continues to, to turn up week after week, run good sectionals, run good races. And the times that she's probably finished down the line, she hasn't had the right draw. But as I said, this race just looks perfect on the weekend. Yeah, exactly. Everything just looks like it's going to go her way, I hope. And, yeah, if we get that luck in running, then, yeah, she'll definitely be hard to beat. So will we save the best till last? Is that the best chance for you on the weekend? Better romance? I think so, because she's got the barrier draw. Yeah, it, it makes everything in racing nowadays good, good draws, so hopefully she can make the most of it. Yeah, that's it. All right. Appreciate the time. Best of luck on the weekend. Thanks very much. Mitch Turnbull now joins us to go through his runners for Saturday night. He's got a couple of key drives as well. He's in the hot seat now. Mitch, appreciate the time. Yeah, no worries, Chris. Uh, we start in race one with the Rainbow Beach. Now, this horse is racing extremely well. He comes up with a good draw, and this race over the mile. What are the confidence levels like with you going into the weekend? Yeah, pretty good. Got a, a, a nice book on Saturday night, so and not too bad a draw, so hopefully have a bit of luck. Okay, so with the Rainbow Beach drawn gate two, uh, do you think he's a chance of finding the front here? Oh, I'd say the one's usually a bit aggressive, so I'll come out for a little bit and have a look. If he gets to the front, he's a real good horse in front and, and poke along all day, but even if he gets a sit up, up close, he should be do well because he's had a couple of bad runs recently, but he's still doing well, so... With a bit of luck, hopefully he's there about. That start two starts ago, he basically lost sight of the lure, so you can wipe out that run. All of the efforts around that run, though, have been really strong. Yeah, that's right. Ever since he come up to Queensland, he's had about five wins. So once he, whenever he has a good run, he, he about wins. So yeah, no, nah, he 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 goes really well. Okay, so if he can't lead, uh, what what's Plan B looking like? Yeah, just. Try and get a bit of cover and pull out at the top of the straight and go past him, I guess. That's plan B at the moment. But, um, like, he's, he is a little bit versatile because he has got a bit of speed and he's been coming from behind there a few starts and doing well, so... Well, just looking at that last run there, he chased home sure thing captain last Friday night. You've only just missed second, and that was behind uh, Elder Magician, who looks probably the, the main threat here in this race. Yeah, that's right. He, he, that That... He um, was in a strong field last week and then this week probably strong again. But, yeah, if he has a right run and all that, away he'll go. OK, well, that's the Rainbow Beach. Let's move to race two now. What about better Keppel? Uh, I think he's going OK. He's one of those horses. He just seems to fly under the radar week by week. Uh, that last start fourth uh, seemed to be A-OK. -okay. Are you happy with the way he's going? Yeah, last week he was probably unlucky not to run second, I would say, because at the top of the straight he, he ran up the back of him and, and sort of had a sit-in on his head and lost a lot of momentum there. But if I had it maybe been able to keep coming out or have a good run through, I think he was unlucky not to get second. So he is doing well, and, and uh, if he gets the right run, I think uh, he should do well. How much gate speed does he have, Mitch? Do you plan to be aggressive with him early here from this draw? Oh, probably not. He's only got moderate gate speed, um, not enough to, to cross him by the first corner. I'd say they'd have to hand up to him, and they don't usually like handing up here, so I'll probably just have to uh, 
pull the left rein and try and slot in sort of thing. Okay, just looking at this field on paper, uh, it looks like the main dangers are either drawn to your outside or off the second row. So I was just wondering if you can sort of take advantage of that, you know, favourable draw. Yeah, oh, I'd love to, but like I said, he, he comes out moderate. But um, yeah, I'll, pr I'll probably always come out for a bit and, and see if he gets an advantage over him. But if he's not, then I'll just try and look for a bit of cover and save him for the straight. All right. But is he a genuine top four chance in this field? I think so, yeah. Yep. He's, like I said, his last, he was unlucky not to run second last week, I think, and the leader had already off and gone. And they went a really good mile rate last week. I think it was maybe about 51. So, yeah, he, he, he's still doing really well and hopefully he has a good race. All right. Well, that's better kept. Well, let's go across to race four. You've been given the keys to Adele. So first time sitting behind this uh, very good trotter. Uh, what are the expectations here with Adele? Yeah, pretty excited to drive it. Been obviously following her right through. And um, I know Nathan, which I'd congratulate for having a child throughout the weeks, had to jump off on maternity leave. But um, it's one of his pets that he sticks with. And, and uh, like, uh, she seems to be right in it with that field. But she is out the back by herself. But if she jumps well and lobs handy, then hopefully she goes good. OK, a couple of things there. Are you confident that you can get her to jump away well? And then a follow-up question, is she good enough to overcome the 30-metre handicap? Well, I'd hope I'd be able to get her away. That's the plan. Um, had a few stands up here and had a bit of luck. And um, I know, well, she did play up the other day, so I'd probably, probably wouldn't hurt to ask Nathan for a bit of advice with her. But, um, yeah, well, I'd hope she'd get away. And, but out the back by herself probably might help that. If she, if she can uh, relax a bit there by herself, probably be a helper. And then I, when you say with the field, like I, I'd say nearly the danger is a stable, mate. It's going really well, but mm. it's got to sort of, you know, have a good race as well. So see what happens. All right. Well, that's going to be a, a good trot race there, race number four. Let's go across to race six. The mare's open. Myra Dawn. She's only tiny, this mare, but she's all heart. Uh, she's got to take on the flying chinchilla. Can she cause a bit of an upset here, uh, Myra Dawn? Well, she does love Albion Park, and the draw's probably... If I'd pick a draw, I'd nearly pick that one because she loves the fence here and following on there. Hopefully she, she wouldn't, shouldn't get shuffled far back and if they keep the speed on it, that doesn't seem to matter too much because she can follow it along the rail all day. So, yeah, I'll be excited to race her in that. All right. Surely the, the pace is going to be on from the start here. There's a few mares that can really fly along early, so you should be a guaranteed uh, uh, a tempo in this race. Yeah, that's right, and, and that's why I say that looking forward to that draw because she'll be out of trouble and, and on the rail, if they're going flat out, she'll be able to take the shortcuts and... Get up there with them. All right. Uh, race eight, this is the, the Mayor's Band 5 page. Your horse here is I'm Desirable. Is this a race that looks really good for her? I think so. Like, it, it seems to be pretty open field, but she's been doing well. When I asked Amanda the other day, what did you think? She was pretty happy and said she went well. She's, her last two runs, once I went a bit hard early on her and she didn't like that, and then the next week she got caught in the death for a lap, so that didn't suit her too much either when they were running at good speed, but if she has a, a, a moderate trip on Saturday night, I think she should be in it for a bit of a fight. Where's the ideal position you'd love to have her? Oh, well, I overdone it a bit earlier on her there a few weeks ago, so I probably won't be coming out swinging, but if I can just pull the left rein and slot, sit in the 1-1 and pull out the top of the straight, would probably be the most ideal, if not behind the leader, but with a bit of cover, she's always puts in a, in a good fight. Is Better Romance the horse to beat there? Well, yeah, her, she's doing really well. And I thought there was actually three or four that should go right in that. So it should be a pretty open and hopefully general and run race. All right. So by the look of it, just looking at uh, your book of drives there, if you have any sort of luck, you could have a, a really good night here. Yeah, well, it'd be lovely to get a winner because it's been a bit dry for me up the last couple of weeks. But no, it's... Not too bad of draws and not too bad of books. So you just need that bit of luck and you just don't know. But, um, yeah, hopefully I've got the horsepower and, and have a crack. Which one are you most looking forward to? Well, I've been a big fan of Adele since, well, for a while now. So it'll be exciting to drive her. And um, 
Um, oh, my crew would do pretty well. If they have a good run, they always thereabouts. Probably better Keppel, hopefully. I think might like he was unlucky last start, so if he has a bit of luck, but... I'm pretty. I'm excited to drive all of them, to be honest with you. All right. Well, let's just hope for a little bit of luck, and you shouldn't be too far away from the action. As always, Mitch, appreciate the time. We'll see you trackside. Thanks, mate. Bye. As always, a big thanks to our drivers, Chloe Butler, Mitch Turnbull. We wish them all the very best of luck on Saturday night. Time now to find a good thing or two. And I think I can find some value. There's a, a few races, quite a few races, in fact, where we're going to have a clear favourite. But I think at race two, this horse is low flying, sectionally really good of late. With a little bit of luck, he can certainly play a hand in the finish. That's race two, number 10, Rock of Delight. Now under the care of Jonah Hutchison and Paige Bevan. I like the way he's going, and this looks a suitable race. So he might be good each way value. Race two, number 10, Rock of Delight, marking him as our each way special. Remember, if you are gambling this weekend, do so responsibly. It's a good nine race program here at the Creek on Saturday night. The first of nine starting at 5.39. We'll see you trackside.